from reinvigorating agriculture, directing livestock vaccine and drug design, automated agriculture machinery, to path precision technology drones, AI-driven solutions are revolutionizing traditional farming techniques into cutting-edge modern practices. In fisheries and aquaculture, AI has contributed to a more efficient fish stock monitoring and aquaculture automation. Through AI, food systems have become more sustainable and more intelligent, a necessary tool to combat the challenges in environmental conservation and global food security. AI-driven developments are impactful in the agricultural and archipelagic Philippine, and our homegrown experts take the lead in realizing this potential. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about what we have done on animal pathogen genomics and some sort of proposal on machine learning guided approach to vaccine research and to monitor virus evolution. I'm going to give you an overview of our team and our research interest, a little bit of, on African swine fever, its causative agent and disease, the gaps in research needs, and machine learning applications in ASF research. And to, to end this talk, I'm going to give you a big picture on how machine learning can be applied in ASF research. Bioassets Corporation is a 100% Filipino-owned pioneering life science company in the Philippines, established by a team of scientists and veterinarians. Our primary goal is to contribute to the advancement of food security and the general welfare of our country. We firmly believe that a sustainable and self-sufficient animal industry and a thriving life science sector is essential for ensuring an adequate and safe food supply. Our goal is to establish a comprehensive and unified approach to address the threat of infectious diseases in the animal industry. Our goal is anchored in three focus areas such as bringing the diagnostics to the point of need for surveillance and rapid response. We are also focused on precision diagnostics, specifically pathogen genomics, to support our precision medicine initiative. So far, we have generated several first whole genome sequence analysis here in our country from African swine fever virus to avian influenza virus and to a number of relevant viruses and bacteria that affect the animal industry. Such information are important for diagnostics and vaccine research. Today, we will focus on African swine fever virus. African swine fever is caused by a large, highly complex virus with a large double-stranded DNA genome that encodes for a great number of proteins and polypeptides. The virus has 24 known genotypes, with gene type 2 as the dominant circulating strains worldwide. ASF clinical signs range from uh, weakness, hemorrhages, to sudden death. It has devastated the swine industry, a 200 billion peso industry, largest among the animal industry and second to rice. ASF has caused a significant decline in production that also resulted in soaring pork prices. Besides the absence of widely accepted safe and effective vaccines, here are some of the gaps in research needs in the ASF field. We need to have an optimized and harmonized protocol, such as for sample collection, sequencing, bioinformatics workflows, and data doc documentation. We also have to generate whole genome sequences as a basis for further studies, and also perform discovery and evolutionary analysis. Andy Montesilio, a PhD student in our team, established a streamlined and globally accepted protocol and generated the first locally sequenced and assembled ASF virus whole genome, which serves as a baseline for many ASF virus genomics in the future. Not only that, he also generated a small but significant molecular epidemiological data by generating whole genome sequence analysis from ASF outbreaks in several provinces in the Philippines. While we found that the circulating ASF virus strain in the Philippines is still genotype 2, based on the representative samples from different provinces, we have observed evidence of multiple mutations suggesting that the virus is evolving either temporarily or geographically. 
We also use this information for evidence and science-based analysis of the origin of the strains from one outbreak to the other. For example, Bacolod had an outbreak prior to Mindoro, and we know that there is some evidence of trade between the two localities. We show here that the virus from Mindoro outbreak clustered with Bacolod, suggesting that the outbreak in Mindoro may have been caused by a virus from Bacolod. We can clearly show that we can use genomics data to make science-based decision-making and hopefully policy-making. ASF virus genomics still need further studies and it needs more input in the form of whole genome sequences. We propose that machine learning guided applications can help support vaccine research and also help in making careful analyses of the virus origin and evolution. From a vaccine development centric point of view, we can use machine learning to generate data that will guide in identifying a vaccine candidate. Briefly, from a pathogenic strain, we can do iterative passaging and a parallel sequencing at different time points. This will allow us to, ident to identify genomic changes. We can then perform strain and phenotype validation by in vitro and in vivo testing to analyze growth, growth kinetics, virulence, and attenuation. With massive data input, we can develop a machine learning fitness-based method that can analyze identity changes, site pathogenicity and immunogenicity, as well as mutation trajectory. This data will allow us scientists to rapidly and objectively identify a good vaccine candidate. On the other hand, we can develop machine learning guided approach to determine the origins and analyze the evolution of the ASF virus. From the pan-genome baseline, we can use machine learning application to identify strains to the variant level. We can detect recombinant strains and even revertent strains. We can also differentiate the many field strains from a possible vaccine strain circulating in the field. By establishing metrics and algorithm, we can use machine learning guided approach to understand the origins and evolution of virus. This becomes significantly important in the case of the Philippines where we need to differentiate the field and vaccine strains during and after the vaccine rollout. What I've shown to you is that we are generating information to generate applications that will help us to achieve outcomes such as protection, prevention, mitigation, and productivity. Through machine learning, we can bolster our ability to study the discovery, evolution, and diversity of viruses to anticipate and possibly intervene and prevent viral diseases outbreak. Our understanding of the ASF virus is just getting deeper. However, we are not artificial intelligence experts. I hope that this venue will open collaborations that will help us pursue and develop machine learning applications against infectious diseases in the animal industry. With that, I'd like to thank our collaborators, uh, particularly Andrew Montesilio and Russell Santos from the Institute of Biological Sciences in UPLB. Um, I also like to thank our team at Bioassets and uh, our collaborator from Central Mindanao University, and of course our funding agency, the Department of Science and Technology, particularly Picard. Thank you very much.